Brad uh, from Pattison's. Today we're going to talk about the newer style ball valves that's used on the newer wagons. Uh, quite a bit simpler valve than the, the old wagons, that's for sure. Uh, they just basically run off of a, a one-way switch, just a straight on-off switch. So um, as you see, here's the valve. Uh, you're in. Your, your center is always your in, left side, right side. Uh, so when you flip your switch, it's directing the product either to your kit or back into the tank. And when you flip your switch, uh, you'll see the indicator moves to which direction it's, it's going. So when your light is on, on your switch, that should be directing it to the liquid kit. Uh, the wiring on this one is fairly simple. This red, black, and a white coming off the, the motor uh, goes to your flat plug. And the reason we use a flat plug on these ones is because we have different control switches. So we try to keep them separated so that you're not confused with wiring issues in that way. Other than that, it's straightforward. Uh, make sure your battery connections are proper, red to positive, black to negative. Uh, this one I said, being it's a simpler valve to test, if you're having any issues with wiring, you can just take your, your wires straight off the motor and go right to your battery, go black to negative, red to positive, touch your white wire to the positive post, the valve will move. When you take your white wire off the positive post, the valve will go back to its normal position. So it's a lot easier testing. So hope that all is understandable and uh, that's all there is.